We're live now. Hi, my name is Andrea. This is Verbling.com, and this is a reading and pronunciation class. We will be reading poems today. I have several funny poems for us to read together. I will be explaining new vocabulary and new expressions that you might be unfamiliar with. So we will be working on that. And you will get to listen to me read. I am American, so I have an American accent. All the pronunciation work we will be doing will be also with an American you will get to read, and then I will work with you on your own accent, and um, I will work with you on your pronunciation. We will work also on word stress and syllable stress, so the parts of the word that are strong. And then we will also work on our intonation, so how high or low your voice goes in your poem. So if you have your ticket, go ahead and join. I think we have a full class today, so we'll get started very soon. Did you do anything fun this weekend, Ahmed? Um, nothing special. Yeah. Just the usual weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great. Uh, we also have Laszlo. Hi, Laszlo. Hi, Victor. I see you've got your. Hello, Andrea. How, How are, are you? you? Doing well? How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well, yes, thank you. Great. How was your weekend? Well, it's uh, okay. I was uh, traveling to my mom. <laughs> okay. Is your mom in the same city as you no, or no, no, different no. city? Uh, 300 kilometers from me. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, now. Okay. 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 You went to a different city? Yes, different city. Out of town. Uh, how far how far away was it? 300 kilometers. Okay. Okay. That's pretty far. Uh -huh. Yeah. I see sometimes you're frozen. <laughs> okay, sorry. I don't know why I'm freezing. I hope that I don't freeze later in the chat, so yeah, sorry about that. Okay, um, hi Laszlo. Hmm. Laszlo, are you there? Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see if Adolfo is here. Hi, yeah. Adolfo. Hi. Hi. How are you? Uh, fine, fine. And you? Great. How was your weekend? Yeah, fine, fine. Great. Your weekend, yeah, fine. Good, good. And we also have Vincenzo. Hi, Vincenzo. Vincenzo's chat may still be loading. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. How are you? Doing well. How are you? <laughs> fine, fine. Uh, I'm very glad to, to see with you, to be with yes. you. <laughs> yes. How was your weekend? Uh, yes. Um, good, good. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. And let's try Laszlo again. Hi, Laszlo. Okay, and Vincenzo, make sure that you close Verbling, right. so you only have the Hangout open. Okay. Asked, which is not so good. It's like, what? Okay, um, Laszlo, can you turn your microphone on and let me know you're here? Maybe you're having a connection problem. I'm not sure. This is for Laszlo. So, Laszlo, if you are here, turn your microphone on, and then we can say hi. Yeah, I'm guessing maybe he has a connection problem. Well, welcome back, everyone, to pronunciation. I think you guys are all returning for this. Um, we will be reading some more funny poems today. I have poems by Roald Dahl and also poems by Shel Silverstein. They both... Uh, are very good at writing very funny poems. So you'll learn some new vocabulary, 
learn some new expressions, maybe even some new slang words, and uh, work with you on your pronunciation. Um, this is U.S. pronunciation because that's where I'm from. So any vowel or consonant sound that we we do will be U.S. It may be different from uh, some of the other teachers the way they talk, like UK accent. So just be aware of that. Um, the first poem that we will be doing, I will put a link in our chat box. I think we have a full class today, so I want to get started so everyone has time to read. And we'll get that going. Okay, Laszlo, I saw your message about your microphone. Um, yeah, check your computer settings. And then sometimes, uh, one time I started a class and my microphone wasn't working, but I left the Hangout and came back, and then it was okay. So that's another thing that you can do is to try to restart your Hangout. That helped. That did that. That helped me one time when I had that problem. So um, we'll see if Laszlo's microphone will work later. Uh, we'll get started. Let me get this poem on the screen, and we'll go. Um, you'll listen to me read the poem or parts of the poem, and you guys will take turns reading. After you read, I'll explain the poem, the words in the poem that might be unfamiliar. If you don't know a word or if you don't know an expression, just tell me because probably somebody else doesn't understand too. So so if you don't understand something, just let me know and I will explain it to you. This poem is called If You Are Old and Have the Shakes. <laughs> Has anyone heard that expression before? If you, you have the shakes. Um, no? Shake. The sh have the shakes. So, plural. Hi, Andrea. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Great. Great. Okay. How are you doing, Laszlo? I'm fine, thank you. How about Great. You? Doing well? Good to see you in class. Thank you. Okay. So, does anyone know if you have the shakes? I think it happens when arms and feet shakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. It's just like you are just kind of shaky. Yeah. yeah and so, feet. <laughs> and head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So maybe if you... Um, I sometimes get the shakes if I don't eat enough food. So if I don't eat enough food, I feel kind of weak, and then I get kind of shaky. So this is a poem about what... If, if you are old, so... Uh, maybe you are not old and have the shakes, but if you are, here's something. Shakes, the title of our poem. So we'll start at the beginning, and I'll have Adolfo, you'll be first. Sure. So let's just go down to Wonkavite. Wonkavite is just a medicine that he has invented for this poem. He made up his own medicine for this. If you are old and have the shakes, if all your bones are full of aches, if you can hardly walk at all, if living drives you up the wall, if you're a grump and full of spite, if you're a human parasite, then what you need is Wonkavite. Okay. If you are old and have the snake, the shakes. If you, if all your bones are full of age, if you can't hardly walk at all, if living drives you up the wall, if you are a ground and full of spade, if you are an human parasite, then what you need is Wonka bite. All right, thank you. So here it's um, saying all these things that start with if. So, yeah, if you are in a situation like this, so say that word one more time for me, if. If. Yeah, so you have it, it sounds like more if with you, mm -hmm. so try more if. If. Yeah, so your tongue is lower with if. If. Okay. Yes, yes. And it's even a little bit lower pitch-wise, so it's not, the, your voice is not as high either. Okay. Okay, if and then... Shakes. Shakes. Mm -hmm. Let's say this line. If you are old and have the shakes. If if you are old and have the shakes. Mm -hmm. 
Um, try shakes one more time. So say shakes and not shakes. Okay. Shakes. Shakes. Uh huh. Now let's say have the shakes. Have the shakes. Mm -hmm. And then the whole line again. If you are old and have the shakes. If you are old and have the shakes. Mm -hmm. And now say aches. Aches. Yes. So shakes and aches rhyme. If you have aches, that means that you have pain. Something hurts in your body. Okay. Uh, yeah. So maybe um, even if you uh, maybe you are working out or you're doing if you're playing sports and you you play a lot of sports, then afterwards your muscles are sore, your your body hurts. Then you could say that you have aches. Okay. Yeah. So aches. Ch has the the same sound as shakes. Shakes. Aches. aches. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. Say all. All. Your. All. And then your. Your. Mm -hmm. Bones. Bones. All your bones. All your bones. Mm -hmm. If all your bones are full of aches. If all your bones are full of aches. 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 Yeah, and so with a k sound. If all your bones are full of aches. If all your bones are full of aches. Yes. And now say hardly. 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 More D. Hardly. Hardly. Mm -hmm. And say hardly walk at all. Hardly walk at all. Mm -hmm. So here it says if you're old and have the shakes, so you're kind of weak, maybe your, your whole body is moving a little bit, you're shaking. If you hurt, if your bones have pain, if your bones are full of aches, if there is pain there, if you can hardly walk at all, it means you can walk, but not very well. You you have a lot of trouble walking. It's very difficult to walk. Um, and then Adolfo, let's go to the word living. Living. So same kind of thing with if living. If living. Mm -hmm. Yes. Drives. Drives. Mm -hmm. uh, try drives. Uh, no T sound at the end. Drives. Okay. Drives. Mm -hmm. If living drives you up the wall. If living drives you up the wall. Mm -hmm. Now this is an expression here. Drives you up the wall. If something drives you or someone, if a thing or a person drives you up the wall, that means they are very annoying. They are bothering you. Then another expression we use that is similar is if they drive you crazy. So it's something something negative in your life that you you don't like and it's it um, really causes a lot of trouble it's very difficult to deal with it so if here in this poem it says if living drives you up the wall so being alive if being alive is very annoying if it's very difficult that bothers you a lot excuse drives me. you up the wall yes excuse me Nietzsche, but drives up uh, you up the wall is uh -huh. Drives you uh, in order to beat your head. <laughs> that's a, yeah. That's that's actually a, that's a different expression, but it means has a similar meaning. The Vincenzo is talking about beating your head against the wall. Against the wall, yes. No, yeah. it's not in this way. No, drives up uh, you up the wall. It's not in the same meaning of uh, beat your they're, head against. Yeah, they're against, no. Yeah, beating your head against the wall is when you're very, very frustrated. Yes. Like you're in a bad situation or yes. you have an argument with someone and you're beating your head against the wall. So like you imagine you walk up to a wall in your house or at work and you're just beating your head against it. Yes. Just that expression. Here, think about somebody that is just... In it's a, they don't like something. Something's very difficult for them, so it drives them up the wall. It's like they're climbing the wall. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, something yeah. Like so it. different motions there. To go over no on the the mirror no to to like on the to, mirror. Uh, salire, how do you say To climb, to climb. Yeah, yeah. Climb on the a mirror that it's it's impossible no. Yeah, not so much about being impossible, it's just about having a very difficult time. 
Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, just, you, you're just, you're, you feel crazy. Crazy, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it drives you up the walls, you're, you're very, very um, upset with something, or you, something is very annoying, like, if you have a co-worker and they're always bothering you, they're always saying things and you, yeah. um, you can't focus, like, they drive me up the wall, and maybe you have an argument with them and then you are beating your head against the wall. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, Adolfo, a couple more words. Okay. Spite. A spite. Okay. Make sure it's spite and not a spite. Okay. Spite. Yes. Okay. And grump. Grump. A grump is a person who is very irritable. They they get angry very easily. Uh, adjective of that is grumpy. Grumpy. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this sentence. This, if you're a grump and full of spite. If you're a grump and full of spite. Mm -hmm. And now below that we have the word parasite. Parasite. Mm -hmm. Now a parasite can be an insect, like a bug, yeah. or a yeah, or um, there's also other other types of parasites. It's just something that takes a lot from someone, like a human parasite. Maybe it's someone who is always borrowing money, taking money from someone else, mm -hmm. and they don't give them anything in return. So a human parasite, they just they live off of somebody else. They take and take and take, and they never give anything. Let's do this line. If you're a human parasite. If if you're a human parasite. Mm -hmm. One more time. If you're a human parasite. If you're a human parasite. Mm -hmm. And let's do these two lines here, the line before it. If you're a grump and full of spite. If you're a human parasite. If you're a grump and full of spite. If you are human parasite. Mm -hmm. Good. And then here with both of these lines, full of spite and full. parasite, you have your voice go down at the end. If you are a grump and full of spite, if you are a human parasite. If you are a grump full of spite, if you are human parasite. Mm -hmm. Parasite. So your the, your parasite. voice your, yes your voice will go down at the end of okay, those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, good. So here it's just saying if you have all of these problems, maybe you're old, you don't feel very well, um, you're shaky, you have pain, you, it's difficult to walk, you don't like living, it's very difficult to live, you're grumpy, you're a grump, everything makes you angry. If Also, if you are full of spite, that's another kind of thing about people who get angry very easily or they're very... Um, they're not nice, they're very mean to other people. Um, and then if you're a human parasite, if you take and take and take, but you never give back, that's a human parasite. So what you need is Wonkavite, and this is a kind of medicine that the poet has invented. So this is kind of like a commercial, in a way. Hi, Carmen. Uh, good morning, Andrea. Good morning to everybody. Sorry for being late. That's okay. So sorry. That's all right. Good to have you in class. Thank you. Okay, um, Ahmad, you will go next. We'll do the next section. And we'll go down to smile and wink. Your eyes will shine, your hair will grow, your face and skin will start to glow, your rotten teeth will all drop out, and in their place, new teeth will sprout. Those rolls of fat around your hips will vanish and your wrinkled lips will get so soft and rosy pink that all the boys will smile and wink. Okay. Your eyes will shine, your hair will grow. Your face and skin will start to glow. Your rotten teeth will all drop out and in their place new teeth will sprout. Those rolls of fat around your hips will vanish and your wrinkled lips will get so soft and rosy pink. They all the boys will smile and me. All right, thank you. Let's go to the first line. We have the word shine. Shine. Mm -hmm. Now say, your eyes will shine. 
your eyes will shine. Good. And now the last one, grow. 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 Give me more R. Grow. Grow. Mm -hmm. Your hair will grow. Your hair will grow. Yeah, so make sure it's uh, more R in grow. I liked the grow. R in your and the R in hair. So give me a, a little bit more in grow. Let's do that part again. Your hair will grow. Your hair will grow. Okay. Grow, right? Grow. 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 Okay. Your eyes will shine, your hair will grow. Your eyes will shine, your hair will grow. Mm -hmm. And so here it's just saying, if your eyes shine, that just means that you, you look very energetic. You're in your eyes, you have a lot of energy, or you're very, um, you have a lot of life. You're, mm -hmm. yeah, you're not tired at all, your eyes are shining. Um, and then let's go down to glow. Glow. Mm -hmm. And so it says your face and your skin, they will begin to glow. If something glows, then literally if something is glowing, there's light coming out of it, like a light bulb glows, your lamp might glow, but a person can glow and they're not, there's not actually light coming out of their face and skin, but they just, they look very, they, same thing, kind of thing, they look very energetic, they have a lot of, they, they look very lively. Let's do this line. Your face and skin will start to glow. Your face and skin will start to glow. Yeah, more. give me more L on glow so that I know it's different from grow. Glow. Okay, glow. Glow. Yes, yes. One more time with that line. Your face and skin will start to glow. Your face and skin will start to glow. Yes, good. Now, this word here, rotten, has... T's in it, but we don't pronounce the T's the same as teeth. It's the T is more. It's farther back in your mouth. Rotten. Rotten. So no, no chip sound here. Try it. rotten. Rotten. Yeah, it's, like, it's almost like there's no T at all. Rotten. Yeah. One, one more rotten. time. Mm -hmm. Rotten. Yes, your rotten teeth. Your rotten teeth. Yes. Now, with teeth, the T is at the beginning of the word. If T is at the beginning of a word, then we it's definitely a T sound. But if the T is in the middle of a word, it can be more of a D sound, or in this case, it sounds like there's not very much consonant at all. Um, let's do this line. Your rotten teeth will all drop out. Your rotten teeth will all drop out. Mm -hmm. Yes. So your teeth come out, your teeth... Um, fall out, but that's okay because in their place, so after your teeth fall out in the same place that they were in your gums, you get new teeth. They will sprout, they will grow. Um, plants also sprout. When you plant a seed and the, the plant starts to come up, it starts to grow, that's, that's a word that we use, it's to sprout. Let's do that line. And in their place, new teeth will sprout. And in their place, new teeth will sprout. Mm -hmm. And now give me a, a good R sound with rolls. Rolls. Mm -hmm. Those rolls. Those rolls. Yes, good. Those rolls of fat. Those rolls of fat. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you did this correctly. Just know that, be aware that if the last letter of one word and the first letter of the next word are the same, then you can connect, you can put them together. So rolls of fat is just um, places where you have fat on your body, so around your hips, so below your waist, some people have rolls of fat, and it's not so good. Let's do this line. Those rolls of fat around your hips. Those rolls of fat around your hips. Yes, and now with this, make sure it's of. Of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, with this word here, the F is more like a V sound, of. Of. Mm -hmm. But we still can, can connect these. Rolls of fat. Rolls of, of fat. Mm -hmm. fat. One more time, rolls of fat. Rolls of fat. Mm -hmm. 
And then below that we have the word wrinkled. R wrinkled. 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 Mm -hmm. So if you maybe are old, you your skin is not smooth anymore. It has wrinkles. So your the fat that you have around your hips will vanish. It will go away. It will disappear. You will no longer have fat. You will have no fat around your hips. And then your lips that were once wrinkled, they will get soft and rosy pink. They will have a nice color to them. Let's do this line here. Will vanish and your wrinkled lips. Will vanish and your wrinkled lips. Mm -hmm. One more time. Wrinkled or wrinkled? Wrinkled. Wrinkled. Mm -hmm. Will vanish and your wrinkled lips. Will vanish and your wrinkled lips. Mm -hmm. And now this last line. Will get so soft and rosy pink. Will get so soft and rosy pink. Yes, good. So in this section, he's saying, even though you maybe you're old, you are shaky, you don't feel bad, you don't feel very good, you are very um, grumpy. <laughs> you can have all of your problem, all these things about you will get better. You will look more lively. You'll get new teeth. You won't have fat around your hips anymore, and your lips will start to look younger and better. All right. Thanks, Ahmad. Thank you. Okay. Carmen, you'll do the next section. Okay. And we'll go down to extra 20 years to live. That all the boys will smile and wink and whisper secretly that this is just the girl they want to kiss. But wait. For that is not the most important thing of which to boast. Good looks you'll have, we've told you so, but looks aren't everything, you know. Each pill as well to you will give an extra 20 years to live. Okay. That all the boys will smile and wink and whisper secretly that this is just the girl they want to kiss. But wait. That is not the most important thing of which to boast. Good looks you'll have, we've told you so, but looks are everything, but looks aren't everything, you know. Each bill as well each bill as well to you will give an extra twenty years to live. Great, thanks. So here boys will smile and wink at you. They will they will only we, they will only blink one eye, and that's kind of a way to flirt with a girl that you like. And they will say, this is the girl that I want to kiss. They'll whisper secretly to each other. So maybe they don't want you to know, but they, they do want to kiss you. Um, so, Carmen, let's go here at this line. I want more stress on whisper, and whisper secretly that this. And whisper secretly that and whisper secretly that, that this. Mm -hmm. One more time. And whisper secretly that this. And whisper secretly that this. Uh -huh. And then here in this line underneath, we have is just the girl. So it's you are exactly the girl, the precise girl, the only girl they want to kiss. So let's do more emphasis on just. And you can do that in your, in, not speaking in poems, but when you're in conversation. That's just what I want, so more emphasis on that. Is just the girl they want to kiss. Is just the girl they want to kiss. Mm -hmm. Let's do those two lines. And whisper secretly that this is just the girl they want to kiss. And whisper secretly that this is just the girl they want to kiss. Mm -hmm. Good. And now... Here in this part, but wait, that's a very common um, advertisement English phrase. Like, wait, there's more. We'll give you more stuff. Um, here, do a little bit more pause after, but wait, for that is not the most. But wait, for that is not the most. Oh, one more time, I think your audio cut out for one second. Okay. But wait, for that is not the most. Mm -hmm. And here, with most, let's make your voice go down a little bit. That is not the most important thing of which to boast. But wait, for that is not the most important thing of which to boast. Mm -hmm. And here, 
good looks you'll have. So looks will be emphasized here. You will be very pretty. You will be very attractive physically. And so looks will be emphasized here. And then told will also be emphasized. Good looks you'll have. We've told you so. Good looks you'll have. We've told you so. Mm -hmm. Good, and I like the way your, your voice went down at the end of this clause, at the end of this idea. Usually when you are stating something, your voice will go down at the end. Okay. And then this is an expression that's very common. We say this a lot. Looks aren't everything. Another expression like that is you can't judge a book by its cover. So you should not worry about what things look like. And let's go to... Um, Looks will be emphasized here, and then also every and everything was also going to have some stress. But looks aren't everything you know. But looks aren't everything you know. Mm -hmm. And you can also make, make your voice go down on the word no, because this is a statement. But looks aren't everything you know. But looks are everything you know. Mm -hmm. And then here, a little bit of pause when you say as well. Each pill as well to you will give. Each pill as well to you will give. Mm -hmm. And then an extra 20 years to live. An extra 20 years to live. Very good. So here this pill is going to give you, uh, not only will you be very attractive to other people, you will also live 20 years longer. It's very, very special pill that they're advertising there. Thanks, Carmen. Thank you so much, Andrea. Okay, uh, Laszlo, you'll go next. Yep. Oh, this was almost done. Let's go to, we'll have you back up. We'll go to good looks you'll have, and then you'll read to the end of the poem. So you have enough to read. Good looks you'll have, we've told you so, but looks aren't everything you know. Each pill, as well, to you will give an extra 20 years to live. So come, old friends, and do what's right. Let's make your lives as bright as bright. Let's take a dose of this delight, this heavenly magic dynamite. You can't go wrong. You must go right. It's Willy Wonka's Wonkavite. Okay. Good looks you all have. We've told you so. But looks aren't everything you know. Each bill as well to you will give an extra 20 years to live. So come all friends and do what right. Let's make your lives as bright as bright. Let's take a dose of this delight, uh, this heavenly magic dynamite. You can go work, you must go right. It's will wrong. Wong's Wong White. Hmm. Yeah, so that's that's just a, a made-up <laughs> pill here, Wonka Vite. Okay, so um, let's go to the first two words. Good and looks have the same vowel sound. Good looks. Good looks. Uh-huh. And let's do that line. Good looks you'll have, we've told you so. Good looks you'll have, we told you, you so. Mm -hmm. More more V sound and weave. We've told you so. We've told you so. Mm -hmm. One more time with the, the word weave. Weave. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's do that line again. Good looks you'll have. We've told you so. Good looks you'll have. We've told you so. Mm -hmm. Good. And say pill. Pill. Yeah. So not peel, but pill. So your tongue is is lower in your mouth. Pill. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Each pill as well to you will give. Each pill as well to you will give. Mhm. Mm and let's go to old. Old. Friends. Friends. Old friends. Old friends. Mhm. Mm so come, old friends, and do what's right. So come, old friends, and do what's right. Mm -hmm. And here, say, as, as bright, bright, as bright as bright, 
as bright as bright. Yeah, so here he's just saying, let's make your lives as bright as bright. Let's make <laughs> let's make your lives exciting. Um, we could make your lives full of energy, full of enthusiasm. If something's as bright as bright, it's, um, it has a lot of potential. There's a lot of good things that can happen, and there's it's just a lot of very very positive things about something. So you, let's make our lives more positive. Let's do that line. Let's make your lives as bright as bright. Let's make your lives as bright as bright. Mm -hmm. One more time. Let's make your lives as bright as bright. Let's make your lives as bright as bright. Mm -hmm. And then say dose. Dose. So a dose is in medicine. When you have a dose of something, it's maybe one pill. You Like a doctor recommends that you take one pill a day. So that one pill is a dose. It's a, it's a time that you take a medicine. It's a dose. Um, and then delight. Delight. Mm -hmm. Let's take a dose of this delight. Let's take a dose of this delight. Mm -hmm. So this delight, <clears throat> if a thing is a delight, that means it's very, it's very um, uh, positive. It makes you happy. A person can be a delight. In this case, the Wonkavite, this pill, is the delight. It's, so it's something very good. Let's do... Um, one more time with this whole line. Let's take a dose of this delight. Let's take a dose of this delight. Mm -hmm. Heavenly. Uh, heavenly. Mm -hmm. So as if it came from heaven. It's um, so it's so good. It's it's um, it's like it came from heaven. It came. It's not from the earth. And magic. Magic. Mm -hmm. So magic is um, magic is a noun and a verb. Magic is uh, maybe you go to a magic show and somebody is doing tricks and it looks like um, it's it's um, not real. It's magic. Um, and then here, magic is an adjective. So this pill does so many things. It's um, it's as if maybe there's something supernatural about it. It's not natural. Maybe it's magic. And then here is dynamite. Dynamite. Mm -hmm. Dynamite is something that can explode, like um, also another word for dynamite is TNT. You see it in cartoons a lot. Uh, dynamite is kind of like a bomb also, just so something that can explode. So this pill is heavenly, it's magic, and it's dynamite. So it's something very, very powerful, it's very good. Um, it probably it looks seems too good to be true, like maybe it's not real. Let's do this whole line here. This heavenly magic dynamite. This heavenly magic dynamite. Mm -hmm. And then let's uh, say can't go wrong. Can go wrong. Mm -hmm. And you can't go wrong, you must go right. You can go wrong, you must go right. Mm -hmm. And give me a little bit more T on the end of must. must. You must go right. You must go right. Yes, yeah, very good. And then here, the, the name here is Willy Wonka's. Try that. Willy Wonka's. Uh huh. And then the medicine that they're trying to sell here is called Wonkavite. Or Wonkavite. Mm -hmm. Let's do that whole last line. It's Willy Wonka's Wonkavite. It's Willy Wonka's Wonkavite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more time. It's Willy Wonka's Wonkavite. It's Willy Wonka's Wonkavite. Mm -hmm. Good. So this. Poem is like a very big advertisement for this Wonkavite, so this kind of pill that take that you can take, and you become very attractive. Maybe you look younger, and everybody wants to uh, be with you, and you will also live longer. So everybody should take this medicine. Is there any word in here that you guys still need more explanation on, or expressions? that you're not sure about before we go to a new poem? Uh, just one thing, Andrea. Uh -huh. uh, it's, uh, um, the Wonka Vite is the pill that the, uh, Willy Wonka uses to, to, to get uh, people uh, look younger? Yeah, yeah. It's called the Wonka Vite. Okay, then. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, thank you. It's like some magic pill that they're advertising here. Yes.
Okay, let's go to a new poem. We'll stick with the same poet. Um, let's do, this is another kind of poem about eating things or take, having things that, that um, you put in your potty that are very nice. This is called, I've Eaten Many Strange and Scrumptious Dishes. This actually, uh, it's a poem, but he has, this is part of one of his books. And the book is called James and the Giant Peach. I think there's a movie of that now, too. So let me put this on my screen. This is from a different website, too, so it's going to look different. And, oh, I'll give you the link, too, if you want to look at it in your own browser. So in this poem, it's the character that, that says this poem in the book that he wrote. A centipede is a kind of insect. It has a lot of legs on it. And so this centipede is talking about all of the things that he has eaten and how it's still not as good as this peach that he has just tried to eat. So we will talk about that all the little details of this as we go. Victor will go next, and we'll do these two sections here. I've eaten many strange and scrumptious dishes in my time, like jellied gnats and dandy prats and earwigs cooked in slime, and mice with rice, they're really nice when roasted in their prime. But don't forget to sprinkle them with just a bit of grime. I've eaten fresh mud burgers by the greatest cooks there are, and scrambled dregs and stink bugs eggs and hornets stewed in tar, and pails of snails and lizards' tails and beetles by the jar. A beetle is improved by just a splash of vinegar. I've eaten many strange and scrumptious dishes in my time, like jellied nuts and dender par dandy prats and airwigs cooked in slime, and mice with rice, they really nice when roasted in their prime. But don't forget to sprinkle them with just a pinch of grime. I've eaten fresh mud burgers by the greatest cooks there are, and scrambled dregs and stink box eggs and hornets tubed in tar and pails of snails and lizards' tails and beetles by the jar. A beetle is improved by just a splash of vinegar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's listing all of the things that he has eaten. This is a, an insect talking, so he's eating very strange things. And this word here is scrumptious. Victor, Scrum say that. Scrumptious. Uh -huh. Scrumptious is another word for delicious, tasty. Tastes good. Um, say strange and scrumptious. Strange and scrumptious. Mm -hmm. And dishes. Dishes. Mm -hmm. Dishes in my time. Dishes in my time. Mm -hmm. If you say something in my time, I've eaten all of these things in my time, so that's another way to say in my life. In my life, I've had very, very unusual and strange, weird but very delicious dishes, meals. I've had a lot of very, very strange and delicious meals in my life, or in my lifetime. And here we have the word jellied. Jellied. Mm -hmm. So maybe like jello or gelatin. Here these are gnats, that's a kind of fly, and the G is always silent. Gnats, tiny, tiny little flies. Um, and also, Victor, let's say earwigs and give me an E sound with ear. Earwigs. Uh-huh. And then ear will be strong. Earwigs. Earwigs. Yes. So let's do this part up to... to let's do this line, too. Um, also, say, um, before we do that, say the word cooked. Cooked. Uh-huh. And this line, like jellied gnats and dandy prats and earwigs cooked in slime. Like jellied nuts and dandy prats and earwigs cooked in slime. Mm -hmm. Now, with cooked, try to make it more cooked and not cooked. 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 Mm -hmm. And slime. Slime? 
Yeah. Slime? Yeah. He uses... The, this poet really likes the word slime. Slime is um, a very thick liquid. It's um, usually gross. It's very um, usually used for to describe something that is disgusting, like uh, something can be slimy also. So slime is um, thick liquid, maybe... Um, it's so, if you, you imagine like mud, I'm mad. it's kind of slimy, like it's it's thick and it's dirty. Oh, it's so slime is not mud, but mud has has a similar texture as slime. Um, if you imagine maybe a, an insect like a slug or a snail, they they have um, they they have slime on them, like on their body. There's they have this very thick coating and that we can call that slime it gets slimy some some kinds of worms are slimy mm. okay. Okay. yeah yeah so it's like a, a slime is a very general term for like a thick liquid mm -hmm. yeah thank you mm -hmm. so here this is um this part is kind of gross so earwigs all of these this uh, kinds of bugs. Earwigs is another kind of insect, and the earwig is cooked in this this kind of liquid. It's supposed to be very disgusting, <laughs> very uh, slime, gross. Uh, teach us, slime is the something that uh, the worm has had. Uh huh. Had, yes. Had. The worm uh -huh. is something like a liquid, the very yes, yes, like yeah. slime, slime. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. There are some kinds of worms that are very slimy. I don't know how they make slime, but they they always have this little this liquid on them and it's slime. Ah, probably costly. What's it called? Um, the lumache, lumache. Excuse me, lumache. How do you call lumache? <laughs> you help me. A what? Wait a moment. Uh, lumache. Mm, uh, wait a moment, teacher. Okay. Uh, uh, mm. Uh, okay. Uh, snails, yes, snails. Oh. oh snails has this liquid. Yeah, you could call it that. The, <laughs> the when you sneeze, if you are have a, if you are sick and you have a cold. No, 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 no. Snails, snails. Snails, snails. Snails. Yes. Yes, snails has this liquid. Yes. Yes. I have this liquid. Yes. Yes. Uh. Snails, slugs. Worms. Yes, thank you. Okay, yeah. thank you. Ooh, they thank they you. all have slime. Uh huh. Yeah, thank you. That's why I don't touch them because they are slimy. They have slime all over them. <laughs> Is it some yeah. some kind of mucus like uh, yeah. snails and that sort of thing? Some kind yeah. of yeah. Thing. some kind of mucus. Uh uh. What is it? Also, I don't know. Oh. When you sneeze, you know. <laughs> ah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> from, from your nose. Yes. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Thank you, Karen. Good. Yes, you can, you can, yeah, mucus can be kind of like a slime, too. Like when you sneeze and you're sick and you sneeze and then in inside of the tissue or handkerchief yes. there's this slime. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. Slime. Great word. This guy, this poet, really likes the word slime. I think this is the third or fourth time I've had the word slime in my class. It's a good word to know. It's very descriptive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, Victor. Let's go to um, the word roasted. Roasted. Mm -hmm. So roast will be strong, and we'll go to when roasted in their prime. When roasted in their prime. Mm -hmm. So here he's talking about the rice, the, the mice, the mice with rice. When the mice are in their prime, so if maybe they're at a very good age, like they're not too old, they're not too young either. They, they make very good meat at that time. Their bodies are very strong. Um, they're roasted in their prime, so they're roasted at the best time of their life to be meat. Um, and then let's go, Victor, to the word sprinkle. Sprinkle. And with? With. Pinch. 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 With just a pinch. With just a pinch. Yeah, pinch and not pinch. 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 Mm -hmm. With just a pinch. Again. With, ju with just a pinch. Mm -hmm. And then grime. Grime. 
Grime is another way to say dirt. Mm -hmm. If something is grimy, then it has dirt all over it. So slime and slimy, grime and grimy. We have nouns and adjectives for these. Let's do this line, but don't forget to sprinkle them with just a pinch of grime. But don't forget to sprinkle them with just a pinch of grime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just be careful with the word pinch. Okay. Pinch and not pinch. Pinch. Okay, yeah, pinch. <laughs> okay, uh, let's go to stink bugs. Stink bugs. Huh? Stink will be strong. Stink bugs. Stink bugs. Yes, stink bug is a bug that makes a very bad odor or smell. It has a liquid that smells very bad, so that's why they call it a stink bug. Something, if something stinks, it smells bad. So here we use that, that word to describe the kind of bugs. Um, say the word dregs. Dregs. Now, when you are, have this saying, this uh, phrase, scrambled dregs, um, the, more, the most common cooking term is scrambled eggs, so that's very normal. Here he's talking about scrambled dregs. Dregs is um, tea that has already been brewed, like tea leaves at the bottom of your teacup. So much different than eggs. Here he's, it's just kind of a, a play on words. So scrambled dregs, scrambled tea leaves, not scrambled eggs, which is what normal people eat. Um, they, yes. The, the dregs are tea leaves that are used, already yes. used. Yes. Already used. Do you? Yes. Is it? Uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. mm. Yep. So you don't you don't want to drink the dregs at the bottom of your teacup. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because that's not very appetizing. It's not very good. But mm. here, this this is an insect, and he likes it. He likes to have scrambled dregs. Um, and then, Victor, say the word hornets. Hornets. Uh-huh. Hornets stewed in tar. Hornets stewed in tar. Mm -hmm. Yep, good, good connection of hornets and stewed with the S's. And say pails. Pails. Uh-huh. A pail is another word for a bucket. Some kind of thing where you can can carry liquid or or objects at the beach. Maybe you have a bucket where you can take sand. You can put sand in it or water. So here, pails of snails is just snails in a container like a bucket or a pail. So a lot of snails. Uh, Victor, say lizards' tails for me. Lizards' tails. Mm -hmm. So lots of consonants in this one. And pails of snails and lizards' tails. And pails of snails and lizards' tails. Uh-huh. Now with the word beetles, beetles, have the T be more like a D. Beetles. Beetles. Yes. Uh, and then say, and beetles by the jar. And beetles by the by the jar. Mm -hmm. So he has jars full of beetles, so glass containers. Full of beetles, and they taste better if you have a little bit of acid vinegar on them. It's kind of like a dressing for them. Okay, so this guy is this um, centipede, this insect who is saying this poem, saying all of the things that he eats that he that he likes. Uh, Vincenzo, you'll do the next couple sections here. All right. I often okay. eat boiled slobbages. They're grand when served beside minced doodlebugs and curried slugs. And have you ever tried mosquitoes' toes and womp fish rows most delicately fried? The only trouble is they disagree with my inside. I'm mad for crispy wasps. I'm mad for crispy wasp stings on a piece of buttered toast and pickled spines of porcupines and then a gorgeous roast of dragon's flesh, well hung, not fresh. It costs a pound at most and comes to you in barrels if you order it by post. Mm -hmm. I often eat boiled slobages. They, they are grand when served beside minced doodle bugs and curried slugs and have you ever tried mosquitoes, stews and womp fish rolls 
most delicately fried. The only trouble is they disagree with my insight. I met for crispy, for crispy wasp things on a piece of buttered toast and pickled spines of porcupines, and then a gorgeous roast of dragon's flesh will well hung, not fresh. It costs a it costs a pound. It costs it costs a it costs a pound at most, and comes to you in barrels if you order it by post. Mm. Okay, thanks, Vincenzo. You got a you got a tricky one there. <laughs> mm. So more more things that the guy this this centipede is eating that he likes to eat. Um, say doodle bugs. Doodle, doodle bugs. Yeah, so doodle, the first part, the first syllable, dude, will be strong. Doodle bugs. Doodle bugs. Uh huh. Say minced. M minced. Mm -hmm. So minced is, it's, it's um, in very small pieces. Yeah. yeah. Minced doodle bugs. Minced doodle bugs. Yeah, so we're, we're on, on uh, the first part of doodle bugs. Minced doodle bugs. Miss doodle bugs. Yeah, good. Hmm. And go to toes. Toes. And rows. Rows. Row or rows is plural of row. It's fish eggs. It's sim similar to rows. The the flower. The, no, the flower the is bug. the flower is R O S E. Uh, yes. It's, it uh, it sounds the same. R O S E. Yes, is a sounds flower. the same. Yes. Yeah, right. but R O E S is fish eggs. Uh. Yeah, so they're different by one. The just two letters are switched, but it's a totally different meaning. So a wop fish, this kind of fish, the eggs from this fish of, of a wop fish, wop fish rows. Mm. But it, yeah, you do pronounce it the same as R O S E for flower. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's let's do this line: mosquitoes toes and wampfish rows. Mosquitoes toes and wampfish rows. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another word that's pronounced the same: rows. Is R O W S, like lines of things. Rows. Ah, yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Those are all. The <laughs> same, they're all the same sound. Yeah, three different. words the, the same with the same pronunciation. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Rows. Okay. Uh, say delicately. Delicately. Mm -hmm. And crispy. Crispy. Mm -hmm. Crispy wasp stings. Crispy wasp stings. Yeah, that's this is a very what lot of wasp. A wasp is like a not not like a bee, but bigger, like a hornet. Also, is similar to a wasp. It's a flying insect that stings. It has this very sharp part of its body that stings you if it's angry. I said, I don't know, but there is an insect um, uh, bigger than a hornet. Very strange, no? Yeah, it's <laughs> similar to a hornet. A yeah. hornet is very big, no? An hornet. It's yes. Already big. Yes, they're big. It's a big yeah. flying insect can hurt you a lot. Um, we don't have too much time. Let's uh, let's work on this this word here. Wasp stings. But I don't know. Say, uh, Vincenzo, just say wasp. Wasp. And stings. Stings. Wasp stings. Wasp stings. Yes, good. So you got a lot of consonants in the middle of that. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> I think Vincenzo's cleaning lady is here. <laughs> okay, so he likes to eat wasp stings. He eats them on toast with butter, buttered toast. He likes also... Dragon's flesh, so dragon meat. Um, he likes it well hung, so sometimes you hang meat up so that it dries. And so it's not fresh meat, but it's not rotten either. So he likes to, to eat dragon fresh dra dragon flesh, dragon meat that is not too fresh. It's maybe it has maybe dried for a while. Um, and then it costs about a pound. So that's the, the currency, the amount of money, a pound. Um, here there should be a space between costs and uh, so just be aware of that. And you can get a lot of dragon's flesh in barrels in very big containers if you order it by post or if you send a letter, okay. if you send it okay. in the mail. Yeah, yeah, teacher. You have, okay. no need to, you have no need to, to look at your watch, teacher. 
at 9 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, it's 9 o'clock. I have to do my next class now. <laughs> yeah, we'll finish. I'm doing another pronunciation class in three hours, so uh, we can finish this poem and do some more poems. Um, thanks for coming to my class. I'm doing a class on idioms coming up next, so maybe you can come to that too. Uh, but if not, I hope you have a good Monday. Okay. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye, all. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.